all-new Tiger Sport 800, built for riders who crave both thrilling performance and long-distance comfort. Whether you're breaking free from the daily grind or chasing new horizons, the all-new Tiger Sport 800 delivers pure exhilaration and instant escapism with every ride. Unleash the freedom of every ride. From weekend blasts to spontaneous journeys into the unknown, the Tiger Sport 800 transforms every ride into a thrilling adventure. Its refined engineering and smooth power delivery provide the freedom to break away from the ordinary and immerse in the road ahead. Dating back to a High Side Low Side podcast three years ago, I've argued that the classic sport touring motorcycle is not dying out, it's just evolving. For 2025, Triumph has boosted my argument by introducing an intriguing new entry in the sport touring class. Triumph describes the new bike as aimed at that sport touring ideal. Comfortable enough for long distances, but sporty enough to enjoy the great roads at your destination. Starting with the engine, which Triumph calls an all-new inline triple, though it pairs the same bore from the former Tiger 850 Sport with a shorter stroke. When I questioned a Triumph spokesperson about the all-new description, I was told the engine shares some parts with the 765 and 900 engines, but is not directly derived from them. He also noted that the Sport 800 engine is as compact as the smaller engine in the Tiger Sport 660. Triumph claims the new triple puts out 113 horsepower and hits peak power 2,250 RPM higher than the old 850 did, but assures us the engine still maintains a broad spread of mid-range torque. That sportier, street-focused approach continues with the 17-inch tires in common sport sizes. Like its smaller sibling, the Tiger Sport 660, the new 800 abandons any pretense of adventure bike off-road capability, though it retains the upright ergonomics. Consider the basics, a 113 horsepower inline triple engine, a sub 500 pound weight, adjustable suspension, wind protection that doesn't stray into barn door fairing territory, 17 inch wheels in standard sport sizes, optional panniers that mount without any additional unsightly brackets, and a full array of electronic rider aids to enhance safety, plus the convenience of cruise control and a quick shifter. On paper, it sounds like just the recipe that would be drawn up by those of us who see the classic sport tourer as the most broadly capable and desirable road-going motorcycle. Looks great on paper. Of course, we don't ride motorcycles on paper. So I'll be interested to see how it actually performs. Ergonomics on the Tiger Sport 800 look to be typical for a sport tour, with high but not cramped foot pegs and a handlebar that puts the rider in a slight forward lean when he's not trying to look dynamic for the camera. Triumph photo. Meanwhile, however, let's look a little closer at the Tiger Sport 800. There's a long list of things a sport touring rider will have on the checklist, considering that the bike may be ridden for sport or for long distance travel, one up or two up, perhaps loaded with luggage. The Tiger Sport 800 checks the boxes. Adjustable suspension to accommodate those different loads and different riding styles. Check with a Showa inverted separate function fork and a Showa shock with a remote preload adjuster optional waterproof and locking panniers that mount cleanly without any additional brackets. Check. Plus Triumph has a top box that will fit two helmets for those who really want to load up. Hand adjustable windscreen. Check. Comfortable seat for rider and a passenger. Well, Triumph says check. But after looking at the Tiger Sport 800 seat and photos, I want to test it myself before I sign off on that one. 
Sport touring fans got excited a few years ago when Triumph circulated drawings of a possible RT version of the Street Triple. That model never emerged, but the Tiger Sport 660 and now the Tiger Sport 800 fill that gap. 